My name is Yvette Goldstein. I'm a professional calligraphist and I've been teaching beginning and continuing calligraphy through the community education program at Arapahoe Community College since 2005. <laughs> Today I'm going to give you some tips of how to get started on your own to learn calligraphy. What you will want to buy is a pad or packet of grid paper, quarter inch grid, and a disposable calligraphy pen. This is made by Sharpie. It comes in different colors. The pad of paper is about two and a half dollars, as is the disposable pen. So there's a five dollar investment and going to the internet and doing a search on chancery hand or chancery font and click on images you'll have many from which to choose. Posture is very important. Please sit in a comfortable chair and have a comfortable table surface on which to write. Before you start please wash your hands and dry them thoroughly as the natural oils on your hands will mar the surface of the paper and it may not take the ink that you're going to write with. You'll need a pen that has an edge like this. It's a wide edge in one direction and a very narrow edge in the other direction. Holding the pen is also very important. The pen should rest on the first knuckle of your middle finger and in the crook between your thumb and index finger. Then you bring your thumb and index finger together to form a triangle. Your grip should be strong enough, tight enough to have control over the pen, but soft enough that if I were to walk behind you and pull the pen, I could easily pull it out from your hands. You also want to hold your pen on a 45 degree angle to the grid so that if I hold the pen so that it is on that 45 degree angle and write an X. If I pull down in one direction on the X across the grids, I will get a wide line and in the opposite direction I use the other surface of the nib. You have to maintain that angle on the paper to write the letters for chancery hand correctly. It's a function of the pen and the difference in the direction of the nib that forms the letters that have both thick and thin elements in one Any letter. Calligraphy pen with a nib similar to this is designed to be pulled, not pushed. If you push, you could wind up with splattered ink. So there are some letters such as the E and the O in the lowercase that need to be pulled. So if you do a starting stroke like this, position the pen over the top where it's going to connect and then move your eyes to where it's going to end, which is down here. And it will, you will automatically make the right connection point. Thank you for watching. Happy writing.